Good morning, Guardians. The his job became me here. And it is Friday, which means Zer is not in the tower. He's in the solar system, but he's not in the tower. As you can see, Zer is in the reef. It does happen. People have told me, no, Cat, no, you don't know what you're talking about. He never Yes. It doesn't it isn't very often simply because you need to unlock the reef, so people who have not yet reached the reef are incapable of buying anything from Zer. So that's why. Anyway. Whenever he is in the reef, you know he's in the reef because there's no purple mark on the stairs in the tower. If it is Friday or Saturday and there's no purple mark, you know he's probably in the reef. Or you can just check out my videos. Now, the usual reminder, because people still forget or just don't realize it or new people don't know, this is Original Destiny. This is the reef in Original Destiny. Zur only uh, is only in the game for 48 hours. He's not here until reset. He's here um, until Sunday morning. So basically, Zer arrives on Friday at 5 a.m. New York time, a.k.a. Eastern Standard Time, and he is gone by Sunday, 5 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, New York time. So 48 hours. By the time you see this video, you have laid less than 48 hours to locate him, pick up what you want. Destiny 2, he remains until reset, so you have a lot longer. And reset is also later in the day for Destiny 2. Destiny 1, the reset, is 5 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Destiny 2, it's like, I think, noon or 2 o'clock. I'm not entirely sure because I'm usually at work, so it doesn't matter to me. I get home, reset has already happened. Anyway, he's always in one location. He has some good stuff. He has one, He's in one location when he's in the reef. He's always in this corner. He's always here. I think there used to be a, dead, uh, a ghost around here. Anyway. So what has he got weapon-wise? Because that's the most important part. Everything else is okay, but weapons are the most important thing for me. All right, we've got the Monte Carlo and the Royal Flush. The Monte Carlo, see, you can't look at the details if it's the bundle. So you need to, that's why I have to have the weapon to be able to show it off to you. So the Monte Carlo with the Royal Flush. Royal Flush is this ornament here, AKA Orokin style. If you play Warframe, you know what I mean. The Orokin are ridiculously into gold. This is a complete and total Orokin style, all right? Anyway, what makes it, first off, I do think that the Monte Carlo in Destiny 1 is better than Destiny 2. I don't remember for sure. It's been um, a couple days since I played Destiny 2 and since I looked at the Monte Carlo. But this Monte Carlo method, dealing damage with this weapon reduces your melee cooldown, which is the same as Destiny 2, and grants a chance to fully charge a melee ability with each kill. I don't think that's in the Destiny 2 version. Let me know down in the comments below, but I don't think the second half is in it. Which is actually a problem, because that second half is actually pretty good. You will randomly, if you get a couple kills, will randomly reset your melee ability. So you have a chance, while it will reduce how long it takes for your melee to cool, you know, for the melee cooldown, you also have a random chance that it will suddenly just fully charge up which is great because I had it happen sometimes it will be like in the next kill or two kills later sometimes it takes a little longer um so the Monte Carlo I like the Monte Carlo simply because I like the hunter's throwing knife and I will use it in challenge of the elders because the hunter's throwing knife has knife juggler precision kills with throwing knife immediately reset its cooldown all right but if you miss what's great about the hunter's throwing knife in Challenge of the Elders is, unlike Titans and Warlocks, the throwing knife is both a melee kill and a precision kill. Which is great because the points combine to be the exact same amount as whatever is the bonus for that week. So, I think I have uh, an older one I haven't picked up. Yes, yeah, the older one will tell you. So, for example, if you have um, super kill bonus, but hunters don't really have mass killing supers, um, you just go for the hunter's throwing knife, you will get the exact same points for every um, throwing knife kill as they will get with a super kill. So that's why I like the Monte Carlo. I uh, usually carry the Monte Carlo with me simply because of that. Um, but it randomly will, it, I, let me know in the comments below, I might play Destiny 2 later today, but let me know in the comments below if I'm right and if it's missing the second half. Next we have the Nemesis Star and Silver Bullet. Now I'll admit I'm not a big I'm not a really big exotic heavy weapon user. Um, I think there's a lot of really great heavy weapons that aren't exotic and 
don't take up the legendary slot. So I have a great the Hunger of Crota rocket launcher on Xbox. It's just basically a slightly weaker Galahorn. Um, it's legendary, but it has cluster bombs and tracking. So Nemesis Star, what was the ornament again? The ornament was a silver bullet. All right, so let's see. Now that's that's meteorites. You're getting this ornament. I'm not personally a big fan of worn out ornaments. I know a lot of people do like them. It does make them look more realistic. I like my guns just to look cool. All right, that's just me, but I know some people like this. So that you're getting this ornament and Nemesis Star, all right? On trigger pull, this weapon, weapon's initial burst has a higher rate of fire. And then I think it, yeah, when holding down the trigger range and accuracy increase as rate of fire decreases. Kills grant bonus grenade energy. First, it, like, it makes me think of the Soros regime. Um, it feels like a machine gun version of the Soros regime. So holding down the trigger range and accuracy increase as the rate of fire decreases. So that might actually be pretty helpful at times. Maybe I should pull this thing out. I did solo the Nightfall on Xbox last week and Challenge of the Elders last week. And then I ran the Nightfall um, with uh, with someone um, on PlayStation. So I am still playing Destiny 1. Check out my video about Destiny 1 in 2024. Um, you know, how to buy it, etc. So that's the Nemesis Star. But yeah, maybe I'll t pull it out and uh, solo a night the Nightfall. See what the Nightfall is this week. Do it this weekend. We are trying to put raid teams together because that would be awesome. But if you want to run Nightfalls, um, let me know. I'm on Xbox and PlayStation. And um, Nightfalls are fun. You get glowy flames around your head. Anyway, next we have the pri Patience and Time, which is a sniper rifle. I don't remember this. Oi. I think, oh, I think this is the one that gives you camo. So it does arc damage. All right, yeah. Patience in time, you gain active camo camouflage while aiming down the sight. This might actually be pretty good to have too, especially when you're doing a nightfall and you don't want to go night stalker. I might pull this thing out. I do have it, I definitely have. I have all of the exotics that Zerk has. Um, the only exotics I'm missing are raid exotics, but this might actually be pretty helpful to have. So you gain active camouflage while aiming down the side. So I guess, yeah, that's actually pretty good. I'm gonna dig mine out there. Anyway, you have then the usual legacy engram, which I don't think it's here. I did pick up a legacy engram and it gave me um, something that didn't work for hunters, but it was on, I think it was on, um, X on Xbox. So I did pick up a legacy engram and it gave me a Titan like 150 item you do have a chance of getting a year two unlock because there's some year one stuff that unlocks year two but the majority of the stuff is just going to get year one stuff probably not even the class you're running because because the cryptarch in the reef is a jerk i'm just gonna say it i'm gonna put it out there the cryptarch in the reef is a major jerk all right anyway the crest of alpha loopy for some odd reason i always thought this was a hunter thing until i started running doing these videos so it's for the titans Revive fallen teammates and be revived faster. Supers generate an extra orb. Yeah, that sucks, okay? This is only useful if you're in a fire team. Revive, and honestly, you know what? Maybe it's just me, even if I were in a fire team, or if I had a titan in my fire team, and he's like, hey, everybody, I'm going to use the crest of Alpha Loopy. I'm going to be like, you suck. Pick up something cooler. Now, titans, I know you probably are going to school me, so please school me if I'm right or wrong about this. Personally, I would want... The Titan I'm running a raid with to be using something more kick-ass and like damage dealing and like kill the boss faster than revive fallen teammates and be revived faster. I have said, let me know Titans. Am I pissing you off? I'm disappointed by the swarm so. Alright. Next we got for the hunters, we got the sealed Ahamkara grasps. Alright. Gain an additional melee charge. Melee damage has a chance to automatically reload your primary weapon. Decent. Better than the Titan one. The thing is, I'm so used to using Knife Juggler, which basically refreshes my melee all the time if I get precision kills, that this really isn't that big a deal for me, but it still would be good to have, especially if you are doing Challenge of the Elders. And yeah, you're focusing on that. I tend to run um, Celestial Nighthawk because then you'll do a kick-ass amount of damage to the boss. 
but this is actually pretty not that bad. And you know what? Yeah, not that bad. Okay, all right. Especially if you know if you're running Night Stalker, your smoke bombs is your melee. And the more smoke bombs you have, the better, because then you have more opportunities to go invisible. So, yeah, I'm not complaining. I'm gonna put this over the Titan. Why do I have 100 silver? Where did I get the silver from? I don't know. I don't remember buying it. The Astrocyte verse, can you make things even more complicated, warlocks? Just warlocks, warlocks. Temporary increase to recovery on blink. Wow. I don't know who's worse, the Titans or the Warlocks. Wow, Warlocks. I'm so, I mean, that thing looks kick-ass awesome, don't get me wrong. That looks really, really cool. And it passes the Corpus Helmet test. It is definitely smaller than a Corpus Helmet. As I've said, the, 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 the edge, the border, is the Corpus Helmet. The Corpus Helmet is basically the maximum in size. You should not exceed the Corpus Helmet. Once you have exceeded the corpus helmet in size, you are now a joke to the corpus, all right? If the corpus are laughing at you, which is basically like Target, Best Buy, Walmart, Barnes & Noble in space, yeah, I said it, and I'm a massive corpus fan, but, I mean, they're, 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 they're basically corporate in space kind of thing. Capitalism in space on an awesome scale, all right? Let's just put it that way. The corpus are capitalism in space in an awesome scale. Did you know some of their ships are so ridiculously big that they're basically floating cities with, um, I think it's the stanchion ships, with full work warehouses and factories and basically cities inside them because just awesome. I, I mean, just capitalism in space. Anyway, Astrocyverse, Warlocks, I don't know who gets it worse. You? You know what? I'm going to go with the Titans at the bottom simply because I'm primarily a solo player. So this actually would have at least some benefit to me if I were soloing something. So Warlocks, you got it simply because I tend to solo stuff. Honestly, though, you, I wouldn't. You know, what? If, if I were running something with a Warlock, I think the only thing this would have any benefit to a Warlock is primarily Crucible. But let me know. I don't see this being much of a benefit in a raid. Comment down below. Or warlocks, come at me. I, excuse me. I know I probably deserve it. But, yeah. Righto. Anyway, I'm running out of time. This is your weekly Zer update. Ooh, I do have strange. Ooh, I have a lot of strange coins. Um. Yeah. Do not believe them when they tell you you can have them too many heavy ammo sins, all right? No matter what anybody tells you, you can never have enough heavy ammo sins. Think about it. If you play Destiny 2, have there not been multiple times when you are sitting playing Destiny 2 going, I miss those heavy ammo sins, okay? Come on. Everyone misses them. We all know it. We all know it. That's what I do with, when I get to 25,000 in, in Glimmer. I always go to um, Banshee and um, buy a whole bunch of heavy ammo sins. Because again, you can never have enough. Anyway, thank you for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. I hope to see you this weekend. I probably will be living streaming Destiny at some point. The First Descendant, Destiny 2, Remnant. I've been getting back into Remnant and Remnant 2, though on PlayStation this time. I originally played it on Xbox. And um, have a good weekend. Have a happy 4th. A little late, true, but I hope you had a happy fourth.